and welcome to an incredibly special, very exciting uh, news update, breaking news, actual breaking news on Fully Charged. I am joined by two incredible people who are having a massive impact on the electric car charging uh, arena in the United Kingdom. Uh, Dale Vince from Ecotricity and Toddington Harper from GridServe. And this is so important because they're on screen together. And this is it's amazing. So quick, I want to come to you first, Dale, because I, I, I'd forgotten how long you'd been doing this. So it's t- 2011 was when you put in the first charges. Is that right? So absolutely ahead of the, the game. Yeah, it's 10 years ago this summer. And we were kind of like, we were ahead of the cars in many ways. You know, I remember at the time there was a handful of Nissan Leafs on the road and uh, we were installing basically three pin plugs on the motorway. That was that was state of the art. You'll remember that. Yes, no, I know. You could stop and get a coffee and add almost a mile in range. <laughs> yes, but it, might have, it might have been a precious mile. It was a very precious mile, but it is extraordinary how quickly that's come up. And then regular viewers of, of Fully Charge will know we recently went to the GridServe incredible, uh, you know, just incredible uh, installation in Braintree. Toddington, you know, we've spoken to you about that for I mean, it is a minute. Uh, how's it going? How's Braintree holding up? <laughs> so, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that opening an electric forecourt in a global <laughs> pandemic is, is the best of plans. But um, I think considering, uh, you know, considering the situation we're in, it's been absolutely fabulous. Brilliant. Yeah. You know, people, people really love what we've done. They, they like the infrastructure. Um, we're getting incredible reviews online. It's just absolutely brilliant. So, you know, I think we've done, we've built what people um, really want and need. And yeah. um, and again, just very excited to now be bringing this to uh, to this equation. Yeah. So, I mean, Dale, can you quickly explain what what has happened and the the deal you two have done together? It is extraordinary. So. We all, I mean, just for people who don't know, every single motorway services in the UK has a has an eco, or is it, it's, it's very nearly every single one, if it isn't every single one, has an ecotricity rapid charger or two installed at the moment. And so what will happen next? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a collaboration between us and GridServe. Uh, GridServe are buying a quarter of the electric highway and uh, <clears throat> Hitachi, who are our shareholders in GridServe, are bringing about £30 million of funding into play. And we're going to use that money to uh, to transform the electric highway. We're going to swap out every single pump that we have for new technology, contactless, triple standard, and actually they'll charge two cars at once. So we'll double capacity in the process, which would just be fantastic. Yeah. But that's just the beginning. We're also going to roll out 6 to 12 high-powered charging bays. That's the 350 kilowatt state-of-the-art standard, which is such a world away from the seven kilowatts we started yes. with. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's a very exciting thing to be able to get on and do. Right. So at the moment then, so the, is the first step that you'll just replace the existing charges with new ones. And then in the, in the fullness of time, you will increase the numbers in each location. Is that the plan? Yeah, most of our charges, as you probably know, are kind of like out front of the motorway services. So they'll stay where they are. We'll replace them with the new ones, but it will double capacity because at the moment we typically have two bays and one pump, but the one pump can only do one car at a time. The new pumps will do two cars at a time and we've got the bays there. So that's great. We've been working on the grid connections and the planning for the high powered charging for a long time now. We didn't stop in the pandemic and we've begun work on the first one at Moto's new site at Rugby. So it won't be very long before we're rolling out HPC as as well but we're beginning with the replacement of about 300 of these uh, old style pumps uh, while HPC gets revved up in the background right right so that because I think uh, I told you John, I think one of the things I mean I certainly didn't know about this uh, you know this piece of news was news to me very very recently but I mean you know you have to have been discussing this for some time before this announcement today that you didn't just decide this morning oh let's just do a deal with ecotricity i assume there's been quite a long period of negotiation yeah i mean d- definitely and it goes back a very long time I and mean, I, I personally got a real emotional attachment to the electric highway um I, I was able to transition to an electric car about eight years ago um and and that was you know without the electric highway yeah. i would have been i don't like to use the word impossible <laughs> it's, it's no, word but very really difficult my world, yeah. but it would have been very very difficult and um you know that's what made it possible so you know i uh you know i've kind of known the electric highway for a very very long time and um you know, I guess the conversation started because, you know, what we're doing, we're able to start with a blank sheet of paper. I mean, that's yeah. what you see in Braintree. You know, you know, Dale's obviously had 
you know, was the, the, the first to make this happen and built this incredible network. We've come along a bit later and, uh, and you know, with all this kind of knowledge and using the latest technology and we're a very technology savvy company as, as you see. And so kind of all the kit behind me um, with contactless payment, but not just contactless, you know, really good contactless yeah. and auto charge that's going to come as well. And just a lot of other things to make it incredibly easy. It just seemed like a really good collaboration where we can, you know, be, 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 be part of the future of this, add just this amazing technology. So, you know, customers not just have fantastic locations, but at those locations, they've got the best possible charging infrastructure as well. So it feels like a really good, good fit. Hopefully people are really excited about it. We, we certainly are. And um, yeah, you know, it's exciting. It's also really exciting because the government has been recently announcing that they want to see six to 12 high power charges in you know, many locations as well on the motorway network. And that's exactly what we're, we're trying to do as well. So, you know, we didn't have those plans because of the government. It just makes sense that that's what needs to happen. So yeah. it's just a really, really good fit. I mean, if you can see behind me, um, there are six charges, six 350 kilowatt charges uh, on each side. And so it's kind of, you know, ideally one or two units of that. Um, obviously, every site won't be able to, to cope with it, at least initially, but certainly a number of sites will. And we're, and we're keen to you know, re really ramp that up as and where possible. Yeah. So, I mean, when when can we, uh, Dale, can you ask this? I mean, when, when we expect to see the, when, when can I go to a, to a motorway services and use one of the new charges? I mean, how soon do you think that will be happening? Well, actually, you could go now because um, GridServe replaced one of our faulty charges for us. I think it was last week. It's been in the last few days anyway. Right. Um, so, you know, we've got one of them in the ground already. Uh, so we're, we're, we're on our way. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like this summer. There'll be a lot of them yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would expect by summer we'll have, we'll have replaced all of the existing hardware for sure. That's right. my expectation. That, that is, it is such good news. Because, I mean, yeah, it, it, I mean, I suppose the two things we should say is that I have heard every now and then people say, I tried to use an ecotricity charger and it didn't work. <laughs> you know, yes. and I know, but I mean, the thing is that I've always defended what you did because you went out on a limb, you pushed it, you know, you pushed what was at the time the best technology available. And the, I, the thing that I always say is look i've used the chadamo charges are incredibly reliable on ecotricity's network the ccs was always an additional whereas what you're now talking about is charges that are built with ccs as part of what they do and that makes such a big difference i, I think for me one of the most interesting learning curves is, is realizing and really getting your head around that it's you know a lot of the time when people charge they always blame the charger <laughs> but a lot of the time it's the car it's the cars the car I know. That, yeah the car that first of all has a handshake and then yeah. tells the charger how much power it's going to accept for the period of the charger yeah because there's so many new evs coming to market because they're coded in different ways it's yeah. just not that robust and so people think oh it's the charger yeah. where in reality it, it isn't just and we know that for a fact because yes. that's what we do and so the difference really is that the latest kit that we've got we we run in the background a lot of patches so every right. time there's a uh, there's a, an issue and a fault and whatever it might be, um, which there still are even with the new charges, yeah. um, then we're in the background, you know, running the work, you know, and then analysing it, working out what the patches are, uploading in the background. Yeah, it's just going to get better and better and better. Yeah, this time uh, yeah, yeah and, and you're right, Robert. Our, our pumps were designed for Chardamo, uh, of which they're supremely reliable. Yeah, then they were adapted by the manufacturer for CCS, which is a new standard that came along. And Toddington's right as well, because everybody that implemented it, every manufacturer of cars seemed to do it slightly differently. So, you know, we'd, we'd have problems with some makes and not with others, we'd fix them with some makes, then another yeah. one would come along and that would have a problem. So, yeah. I don't know if CCS itself was a kind of uh, um, a standard that had wider kind of margins of acceptance or something i don't know quite what it was but uh, we never had the issue with charter but then again it was designed by nissan for uh, you know for the cars for the, and, for the uh, leaf yeah it, it yeah. just worked yes it did yeah no that's great but anyway guys that is such fantastic news i, I know that our our uk viewers are going to be yeah. punching the air and cheering <laughs> well, we're looking forward to it so, you know give us we, we are you know but collectively going to get these new charges in as quickly as it is earthly possible to do that Right. So, you know, people, it's coming. They're with us if it takes, you know, something. It's not always a walk in the park, but but we're on it. We're on it yeah. and it will happen. It will be awesome. Charging on the motorway network will, again, be, be awesome. So um, Fantastic news. Yeah. Go Electric Highway. Go Grid Surf. Yo! <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thanks yeah. for taking the time to talk to us today. That's really good Thanks, news. Robert. We'll yeah. see you all soon. Yeah.